Hello folks. So today I'm going to show you how to sideload apps onto your BYD Atto infotainment system. Uh, you see I have sideloaded ABRP, Netflix and Mozilla Firefox browser. So what do you need for this? Um, if you look in the description there is a link to a document on Google Drive which contains all the information you need of the things required. Alright, step uh, one. Insert a USB drive onto your computer and uh, right click on that. This is Windows. You can do this on a Mac if you like. You go format and to format this to a FAT32 file system and allocation. I'll just go default and just give it no name. Quick format is fine. Just go start and that will format all the data. soon and the formatting is complete close it go to the USB drive create a new folder call it third party apps exactly like that don't change anything nothing at all casing spacing all stays the same cool now that you've got all your files are saved somewhere on disk maybe uh, on the USB drive cut or move all of them into that folder called third-party apps so those are all your APK files within that folder these are what you'll need to install them onto the cars infotainment system let's continue this in the car now Ed, uh, you need to load up a couple of APK files onto a USB and that's a USB-A as you can see you put that USB-A into the USB-A port at the bottom under your center console once you plug it in which I've done so now it'll ask you for a password um, the password is 20211121 one, and hit OK when you hit OK, you will be able to see the APKs or the Android uh, package files, uh, app files in there, which you've uh, obviously added to the folder in the USB. As for the instructions in the description file. Um, oh yeah, before we continue, how many of you have subscribed to me? Um, there's a lot of people watching my videos, but not all of you are subscribing. Please, please, please subscribe. Please like the video. Please leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you what more you want to see on this vehicle. And um, more than happy to film it for you and show you how to use the fantastic infotainment screen. So back to this. Um, select the application you want to install. I'm going to install Head Unit Relo Reloaded, which lets me emulate the Android Auto onto this, which I'll show you shortly how that works and um, also I've installed uh, eight ball pool so let me just check so let's I try to do this one by one not all together so let's just install head unit reload it first check that and then tap install it's showing installation progress and that's been installed when it shows you the blue tick over there on the right and then let's install eight ball tap install now it is a slightly larger file that one so Let's just wait and see. It should happen any moment now. There, it's installed and there's a blue tick. Now, once you exit from the screen by hitting the back button there, um, the only way to see it again is to remove the USB and put it back in and then put the password and go through that again. So you'll see here I have now got 8-ball pool, the game. Ah, it works. There you go. Just gonna exit out of that. Ooh. Let's just go home and let's kill it there. Now, head unit reloaded. Let's talk about head unit reloaded. H U R as it's called. This is an Android emulator which basically tells your car that uh, or the unit that it is um, an Android head unit and uh, then starts using the Android Auto on your phone, on your Android phone to show that on the car. So for that, again, the USB-A port 
uh, just plug in a USB cable, one for your car uh, mobile phone, suitable for mobile phone. And start with, let's just go configure this one first, right? So hit unit reload it, let's load that. It's a step, uh, you have to just follow these steps to configure it. Location access, yeah, I don't mind. Allow. Microphone, yes. Allow, that's how your phone calls will work. Phone access. If you need to access uh, in self mode, go, yep, done. Allow. And um, done. And for this modify system settings, um, disable blah, 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 blah. I just go, never ask again. Now, you really don't have to play with any of these settings um, unless you know specifically what you're doing. But I have the USB cable here for my phone. Um, there's my phone. And I'm just going to plug it in. Just check that so that it knows and go OK. And on your phone, you may be asked transfer files or under auto so just select that one and then unplug your phone and then plug it back in Android Auto on your phone again and there she is so have fun with Android Auto on your phone now on your car sorry <laughs> thanks for watching like share and subscribe please thanks bye bye